Hey everybody, it's Barbara. And today we're going to start off with a little bit of a story. It has to do with the days when Integrity Toys would have their conventions up in Toronto. And if you're a longtime collector, you know that the first two uh, fashion royalty conventions, Integrity Toys conventions, were up in an area just outside of Tor Toronto, Canada called Mississauga. I hope I pronounced that right. And uh, my favorite doll, rest in peace, rest in peace, Mark, um, helped run those two conventions. Um, and at the time, the line was very small. We had just fashion royalty. And we had Veronique, Vanessa, Adele, Kiori, and Natalia. And Natalia, way back then, was gorgeous. You knew she was evil. You knew she knew she was evil. She was gorgeous. And you knew she knew she was gorgeous. The problem was, somewhere after Toronto, somewhere after those early years, Natalia, the great cosmetic maven, she tried to develop her own line of cosmetics and the cream she used had this horrible effect on her face. And she just didn't look the same. She didn't have that same sense of possession, I guess. That same sense of determination that was always on her face. That same sense of always being in control and in the moment. And the Natalias that came after that for a very long time were just not as fun. And then she went and she did it at the end of 2019. She made me blush. This, ladies and gentlemen, is made, Make Me Blush Natalia, the third of the boudoir dolls in Jesse Alea's Jesse boudoir collection for fashion royalty. If you remember, he did a boudoir collection for New Face, and then he did it for fashion royalty. And this is Natalia. She was a lottery doll, and it took me a long time to get her because I didn't win the lottery. So I had to wait for a very special friend, he knows who he is, who agreed to give me the doll at a price that did not involve me uh, having to give up my firstborn child and my firstborn grandchild. I believe what brings her back to that original prowess is the look on her face. This is a Natalia that has that sense of possession again. Possession in the sense of, I know I'm gorgeous. I know you know I'm gorgeous. You know, I know you know I'm evil and I don't care. There's just something about her that she's, even though supposedly she's mellowed with the years, she's got that determination, that self-possession back in her face, which I really, really like. And I just love her. I, and, and we'll talk more about every aspect of her that I love, but let's start with her face. Um, it is a fully rooted head of hair. There is product in it to hold the curls. I'm deliberate to give her uh, that Francis Farmer allure, Google Francis Farmer. Um, to give her that Francis Farmer allure, I've draped the hair over one eye. But the makeup is clearly the same for both. They're not going to get crazy and do two different eyes. Her eyes are gray-brown, if you want to call them that, and you'll get a better look at that in a second. But her eyeshadow is um, different shades of brown from dark to light. Her lashes are real, and they are applied relatively long. She has this very attractive earring pendant. Part of, it's not an unknown sculpt. I mean, we've seen this sculpt of earring before uh, from Integrity on different dolls and different doll lines, but I happen to like it. It's a very nice floral pattern um, with Aurea Borealis stones and gold. Since I'm here, she's also wearing a ring, a cocktail cut, also Aurea Borealis. And on her other wrist, which I will raise up, 
on her other wrist is that familiar floral double double row floral bangle oops double floral bangle we've seen it many times but for her it kind of works because it, it they're sort of it's that era it's that romantic era of old hollywood and that's that's pretty much what this look represents it represents that old hollywood look um the vixen trying to seduce the innocent man who's clearly never been seduced before i know to modern sensibilities it's like will you give me a break but this is very vampy she she is very vampy and natalia can pull off vampy vanessa can't do it veronique can't do it adele can't do it kiori can do it occasionally but the queen of the vamp is natalia she pulls it off um her her robe if you want to call it that it's a pinoir kind of robe with this lovely delicate jewel here which i believe means if you can bear i mean it's very delicate it's very small you can barely see it and i know that my thumb is probably going to construe it i wish i had something to point with here do this it's right there and and hopefully somewhere if you were going to try to close it there would be somewhere over here yep there it is you are invited to try and cry and hook this jewel into the hoop i'm not gonna try i'm much more interested in paying homage uh to the lovely bodice that's underneath it is pink lace and pink obviously with the cupped bra at the top uh sort of an art deco -y. it reminds me of art deco in the striping of it the stitching gives you this idea of stripes and that is repeated on the sides possibly also on the back we're about to find out The back, very surprisingly, is actually a solid pink satin. And it will close with hook and eye. But all of this, so you have different kinds of pink satin or sateen in this bodice. And her entire pinoir robe is made of tulle. which comes into a ruffle both at her her cuffs at the arm and then it so and it and then at the very bottom from let's and it would fall basically the cup the, the ruffle starts if you, it naturally falls just below her knee and goes all the way to the bottom so as as an ensemble it's it's two pieces but it's that whole idea of you're interrupting this woman as she's getting ready to go out or she's changing or she's getting ready for bed and you're interrupting her and she still but could you, are you really interrupting her if she hasn't taken her jewelry off yet so clearly there's an agenda and you're part of it so it, it it's it's just it's just incredibly sultry and i love it and i love how how much is just packed into the two pieces as we're sitting here and talking about it the story of the boudoir collection is uh natalia and the other two ladies are selling uh, a new line of cosmetics. Surprisingly, for Veronique. 
so we don't quite know what Natalia is up to that she's willing to work with Veronique for a while, but she is. Um, so it's Natalia and two other late. I want to say Adele and somebody else, and I just the two names have just gone out of my head. And I will probably I'll write them in below. Uh, but they are they are working and they're they're promoting a new line of cosmetics. And for Natalia's part in the cosmetics, she has this classic compact. I've opened it up just a little bit so you can see that inside they did not put in the mirror, but they did put in, which I hope I'm not about to lose, they did put in the powder puff. So you have the, oh wait, maybe this is the reverse. There we go. There is the mirror. Sorry, I opened it the wrong way. There's the mirror, there's the powder puff, and just underneath is the hint of the very light blush or finishing powder. So that's her part of this. This also obviously came with shoes, and I won't, well not obviously. I didn't put the shoes on because I thought it was just sexier to have that moment of you're sort of interrupting her and you're sort of not. Um, so I left her in her bare feet. But if you want to go for that whole old Hollywood mystique feel, um, this is the this is the darker pink that I believe, and I just want to go back and look again. Mm, I was going to say this is the darker pink that the back of the bodice is, but even, but the back of the bodice isn't that dark. They, hang on a second, let me rebalance her again. As I was saying, the pink of the shoe is a darker is a is about two tones darker than the back of the bodice and it's in a sateen bow in the front and then the rest of the top of the shoe is a pink sparkle to give it a little give it a little razzmatazz very high heel spiked heel nude nude sole but the heel is that same pink nude sole pink heel so it's it's a very well crafted shoe and if you notice the sparkle ends at the base of the foot and then the rest of the toe is that pink sateen so it's a very so that's actually a very interesting constructed shoe that you're going you're going into so many different tone so many different oops you're going to so many different tones in in the shoe that's not something they usually do, and they certainly don't usually do it with a lingerie doll, but that's that's the kind of impression that Natalia wanted to make. And that if you had her sort of lounging on a bed, you know, with the compact, that would be the look. The only other accessory she comes with, and this is not going to be a terrible surprise to anybody, she does come with an extra set of hands. Um, they're not dialing hands, but they are shorter nails. They're not the dialing hands. Uh, they're also not grasping hands. I don't think either of these hands would be able to really hold the compact But these are shorter nails. These are the traditionally length the traditional length for the nails and the nails that she came with Are much longer they've started they being integrity have started to experiment uh, with giving the ladies longer nails Nobody's died yet from these longer nails. So I'm guessing the experiment is working but my god uh if if natalia was ever going to make a comeback and certainly a comeback to working with uh, w cosmetics i gotta say this is a hell of a way to do it she is uh, she is she is everything she has ever been in the line and then some this is what i'm telling you about this doll she is everything she's ever been and then some so if you can find Make Me Blush Natalia, 
without having to give up your firstborn. You want this, you want this Natalia. She is gorgeous. You want this doll. And you want her for all of her glamour. And I wish you very good luck in finding her. So to all of us who remember Natalia from back in the day and to all of her new fans, this is Barbara. I wish you happy playing and I will see you in my next review. Take care. Bye-bye.